welcome back. Today we are going through the beginner's guide on the Amazon Fire TV stick setup. There has been well, there hasn't been a video actually this year talking about about some of the updates, some of the changes. Some people are a little bit confused on some stuff, so we're going to go through it. Should be pretty easy. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys are subscribed. Um, leave me a comment below, smash that thumbs up. Also, check out the podcast with Next Level and I. We bring you guys up to date stuff with Amazon products and streaming and crypto and all kinds of stuff. So, all in the description below. Let's get going. So, here is your Amazon Fire TV. Um, a lot of good stuff, a lot, a lot of good stuff that Amazon has. Now, when you first initially plug it in and you're just like, cool, let me just plug it in. And I know I have to log into my account. I have to choose languages, hook up the internet. All of that stuff is the same thing for years. It's the same thing. Plug it in. You should be good to go. Now, one of the first things I like to do is I like to come all the way here to settings. And I like to go to notifications from here, hit that little hamburger button on your remote. And it says there at the bottom options, click on that and then click enter for settings. And then you're going to get a do not disturb off or on turn on to hide all application notification pop ups, turn it off or turn it on. So if you want to see the pop-ups anytime you've downloaded like Disney Plus, Hulu, stuff like that, and there's done some kind of updates or something, um, you'll get a little pop-up notification. You could turn that on, the Do Not Disturb, so you don't see it no more. Now, if you're just like, no, I want to see that, but I don't really care about other stuff. So, for example, let's just say um, you don't want something from Plex or Pluto or YouTube, whatever it is, that's where you could you could spend specify which ones you want to do or not do display in sounds display in sounds is a lot of stuff here um if you go to screensaver um some people like to mess with this thing so you can use the current screensaver slide style slide speed start time um most of the time when you want this thing to work too fast this could actually slow down your device or it could actually kick you out sometimes so keep in mind i typically just leave it as is or just turn it all off now, when it comes to your display, um, you have video resolution. I always leave it to auto. Whatever it's coming in, just give it to me. Um, you could choose whatever you want, 4K, 1080p, 720, whatever you want. I just pick to auto, uh, to auto based on whatever's coming in or whatever I'm plugged into, and that should be good to go. Match original frame rate. I don't want this thing to do any extra work, so I just leave this off. Um, and then as far as your dynamic range settings, I leave it to HDR. You could do adaptive or disable. Always HDR is where I leave it at. So those are the settings when I go to display and sounds. Now for preferences, preferences is another good one that a lot of people don't really play with. Um, data monitoring. I have this turned off. Anything that you do they gets like Amazon gets notified within the app. So it collects data that way you get specific apps um, or ads, I should say. So I kind of turn that off. I'm just like, nope, I don't want you guys knowing what I'm doing. Notification settings. This is another area featured content. I turn this off, allow video autoplay off, allow audio autoplay off. Now what that is, if I hit my home screen and you guys see that little scrolling bar at the top, um, it says learn more here at the top. This thing, every time it goes from one to the next, will play automatically. Or if you come down here, it'll start playing. You'll start hearing the audio. Um, you'll start hearing some of the, the like the movies or you know whatever it is, the commercial. It'll start automatically playing a little clip for you. So that's what that is. So I'm gonna go back here, back to preferences, um, and then it's featured content. So turn it off, leave it off. It actually helps speed up your fire stick. Also that way it doesn't take extra, extra bandwidth that, that it, you don't really need to. Now, the other cool feature that I like here, sync recent content. If you have multiple streaming devices, turn this on. Um, because whatever you're watching, if you're just like, Oh, if I'm here and I'm watching and I got some of my favorite titles and some of my stuff here, 
Um, if you go to another device, it's going to have the same stuff. That way you're just like, oh, here it is. Boom, done. Don't have to worry about it. This is a really good one to have off or on. So I have this turned on across the board for all my devices. So it's really, really good to have. Now, the next thing is my Fire TV here at the bottom. Some people do mess with developer options, ADB debugging, they'll turn it on, install unknown sources. Um, you could turn that stuff on and you'll have to do that for every single app individually. That way you could just download pretty much whatever it is that you want. Now, when it comes to your about section here, um, you do have your Fire TV Stick Max. It gives you some stuff here. You got storage. This is where you can see how much memory you have and check for updates. Most of the time, this just updates on its own. You don't have to worry about it, but every now and then I like to come here to check it out. Look, I just clicked on it. I've had my thing turned on all the time and for, for whatever reason, it didn't install it. Most of the time it just does it on its own. So if you want to check for updates, do it. If it says install update, click install update. Now, once you do that, I always tell people leave it alone, walk away. When it's done, you should see the home page back on. So there goes fire stick updating. So I'm just going to walk away and let's see what happens when we get back and it's back. Okay. So able to go through the whole thing and it took a minute. It took, it took probably close to maybe 10 minutes for it to go all the way through, but it came back. Um, it came back. So I don't see anything new. Okay. Updating in progress too. Now it's updating the remote. So just a couple things. So one of the things too that it says here, it says do not press any buttons on the remote. Don't take the batteries out. Nothing like that. Just leave it alone. So pretty cool stuff right here. So yeah, you got a lot of stuff there. So now, now that you've done like pretty much all of that stuff, um, here's some notifications. It'll probably tell you like, you know, whatever you've had, what right, you know, whatever it's fine. It's all there, all done. I don't think there's anything additional that they've added. You could always do a restart and factory reset from here also. But now that your fire stick is from here, you can go to that little section right there and go to app store and start downloading whatever it is that you want you can go search you can go to features features is a really really good one because they'll give you all the stuff that they do have here so 2b pluto all that stuff um and yeah anything when it comes to bundles and subscriptions and entertainment sports all that stuff here this is where you're going to want to do it and then you can start setting it up so hope you guys enjoyed today's video wanted to give you guys this is what I do. And I, and I think this is a, this is like a true beginner's guide of when you are trying to set up your fire stick. Those are some of the things that you're going to want either off or on, um, to enhance your experience and to make it to pretty much to optimize your device. I might've missed a couple things. If I did make sure you guys do put it down in the comment section. Um, once all of that's out of the way, now you're able to download apps. You're able to log into your applications, um, and you're able to now start streaming. So make sure you guys do all that stuff and the rest of it, like just how to download an app, super simple. They do have your little Alessa device here. Just say Disney plus you'll see the app, click it, get install done. Make sure you have a subscription, log in and you're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I try to give you guys all the latest and greatest stuff there. Fire stick has been a beast for such a long time and it's a beast for a reason. So. You guys take care, take care of each other, and we'll see you guys soon.